Yep, back out. Today, right? Today at work, uh, all day, I haven't spoke to one person. I've never, I've never had to speak to one single person today. <laughs> Weird, a strange day. Anyway, I'm out on Friday night camp because the weather's gonna be horrendous tomorrow. Like really bad. Well, that's the forecast anyway. Who knows? That lake there. Dunno. I'm just parked here. Van tomorrow night. It's handy because we want to stay in the lakes. Just stay in the van. And be safe. Have a bit mooch about tomorrow. So if you're in Keswick tomorrow I might see you. Shouldn't have ran up that bit. Alright. The permitted path is very steep, but it's also very short. So, I'm gonna go up there, see what it's like. Never been up here, ticking off another wane right here. Albeit a tiny one. Oh, we're nearly at the top. Short, sharp, steep climb. Whew. It's all right though. That's actually old water. Ulls water, Place Fell, Hallin Fell, all of them. Helvellyn, Blencathra, get some good views here. For a small fell, some hellish views. Didn't realise that was Ulls water. Didn't think I was this far over, but the winds picked up. Ooh, trying to get the tent up. It's not as bad as um, when I was in the Chivy, it's still a bit breezy. But that's good. Keep the edges away. Keep the little buggers at bay. So I probably not need the uh, the repellent, the repeller of doom. And the trig point's good trig. Can summit can not a trigger point is it? Well it is. It's both. Oh just get up get up here. It's a bit boggy there. Hoping hoping to get around around here somewhere. Oh, it's a bit uneven but it's now there you go. Little melt fell. Let's do that again. <sighs> yeah. Bagged it. Wayne right. 108. So I'm over halfway. <laughs> after 10 years. So there might be a spot here. Um, a spot there. Looks all right. If that's not boggy, that looks okay. That's, it's not sheltered though. Oh, this, is, this is the only shelter I've got. Windy. Let's get the tent up, get the back to the wind. Should be all right. Which means I've got that view there. It's not too bad. I can handle that. Right, I'm gonna get it up. Matron. I don't want to pinch you the people's catchphrases. That's an old, old catchphrase that though. So it's allowed. up oh, like I say it's windy but not like it was when I was in the Cheviots I think it was the last camp I did last week was a washout to send it up it was they heard again when we met had a good night two good nights so here we go got deltas in just 
just in case. Nice and flat, look at that, it's perfect. Excellent. Oh, <laughs> that good. Wind takes your breath away. So now it's up, it can do what it wants, the weather now, it can rain if it wants, anything. Let's have it. I want to see if it's waterproof. Be a good um, a good test for it. That's the one thing I haven't tested it for, waterproofness. With all it seems being taped, it should be fine. You'd like to think so, wouldn't you? But, you know, we do need that test. I think if the rain comes under there, you could always like loosen them guy lines, drop that a bit. If that's, they're tight, that's why that's up a height like that. I can easily bring that down them side bits but that gives it extra ventilation you know it's good i've not had condensation yet although it is a bit muggy here it's like um there's like a dew point and it's uh, everything's feeling a bit you know damp so we might get condensation who knows we'll find out we'll find out all these things but for now, I'm going to set my bed up inside and then I'm going to have a beer because it's late, man. It's nearly 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock at night. Tell you what, you, you've got to be careful what you wish for because here's the rain on. <laughs> well, we'll see. That was good timing, actually. Oh, I love it. I love the space in here and how light it is as well. Don't get us wrong. That solo can't be beaten like. But this is good, man. It's good summer temp, this. I've got my water, gas, um, kettle. That's basically just become a kettle. That's all I use it for now, boiling water. And I've got my stove there. I'm thinking about buying a new stove because this is, I think this is, uh, I'll give it a service, right? And I'll see how it behaves then because it's a bit odd. I've got my radio for the music. Radio 6 doing uh, 80s rave music all day. Been great. It's been mint. Power bank. The, the the light for the ambience and cooking by and head torch still bright as the sun the army tech good one I went out running with that the other night it was mint I could see for bloody miles two rubbish bags yeah it's all here so I'm going to blow my mat up um and then I'm going to get a beer, because the beers are in there, so I'm going to pull one out. But yeah, the rain's light, I think it's going to... I think it's going to be on and off all night. Forecast said um, drizzle and light rain, and then it went off, there was mist, fog. It's not nice, I mean, what do you expect for July, you know? It's all you need for July. This would be great, yeah, like, um, in a night, on a nice hot sunny day. So you get the, the sun left going down over there and you've got the sunrise coming up behind you here meant some good views here that's great mel fell there camped on that one i'm slowly but surely ticking all these fells off i'm gonna head deep back in to the fells i'm gonna work out which ones i want to do camp on them or walk them and see what what they're like some will camp on some will we'll just hike up Determined to get them done though. Alright, I've had enough waffling on. Oh, there we go. Just sat in the I'm just sat in the porch. The rain's coming behind us over this way. Well, that's well placed that tent. We've got a couple of chicken breasts made run. Breasts. And a nice Thai red curry to have. With a bit of katsu curry rice for that extra flavour. You know Uncle Ben's rice all tastes the same, doesn't it? Anybody else? Anybody think that? It all tastes the same. Basically, of the plastic packet. It's not the best, like. Anyway, oh, sitting here crossed leg, gonna be stretching my legs. So I'm gonna chop this up, get it in the pan. Um, oh, I forgot my bloody, I forgot my oil. I left the oil in the car, in the van. Damn. Anyway, and then you put in, I don't know, I'll have to read it. I think you put the paste in the pan first, don't you? And then you add the stuff to it. I don't know, I'll read it. But yeah, we'll not bore you with all the details, but you know, we'll come back and dip in and out. Here we go then, um, brown the chicken off. 
I've got antiseptic wipes as well, because that's what you want. I've got a chopping board with uh, cut the chicken up on, but just wiped all that down. The, the red paste's in. I've got the I've got the spices there. I'm gonna go easy on the chilies because I've got a bit of heartburn. I'll put the rest in, the lime leaves and all that. And then just bulk it up with that, the rice. Nice. Look at that one. It smells lovely. I love red. I like the red better than the green. What's your preference? Oh my stomach bubbling. Lord have mercy. Nice. I can't uh can't wait to get that in because I've had now it since about 12 o'clock. It's now nine o'clock at night. Blimey. The rain's on now properly. But I'm all settled in. Everything's good. I'm just in the porch. And the sound of rain on the tent. Everybody loves that noise, don't they? Except when you've got to get out. <laughs> it's alright when you're staying in. Ah, can't get back up. <laughs> anyway. So I'm going to get this, get the spices in. Get the rices in. And get it in. In. Nice. Here we go then. Yeah, uh, where's the spoon? Um, the chopping board doesn't make the heat. Um, right, so I think this is ready now. Bulked it up with the rice. Got the spices in. Chilies. Mmm. Mmm, katsu. The katsu curry rice. You can't taste it. But you know what? I might as well just brought plain rice. For all the difference it makes. But not to worry. I like that. Oh! Ah! It's a little bit hot straight out of the pan. Not recommended. I'm gonna have another beer. Like George Michael said, young guns having some fun. Crazy ladies. Got them on the run. Oh well, yeah. I got um my boot lace broke, right? Just snapped. It shouldn't they're only three months old. So I got onto the uh the people who supplied it. Oh, I can't remember the name. Northern runner or something. Showed them the sent them a photograph of the broken lace in the sole. Which look look brand new, so you can tell that's never been used much. Brand new pair of boots arrived. Too late for us to use them on this trip, but they've arrived. Brand new pair, no questions, warranty. Innovate do a um a warranty on the boots. If you buy them direct from Innovate, you just get onto them. But if not, you get onto the supplier. And if it's a legitimate legitimate fault, they'll just replace them. Good warranty, good service. I'll find the name of the company and I'll credit them because they deserve it. Paid for them, mate, you know, I didn't get them for now. I wish. I wish I was sponsored by them. Anyway, I'm going to have this. Put the radio back on and then. Well, that's it really. Just chill out with a couple of beers. Listen to the rain. Here's that sound. Here's the... Uh, well, that's, that's where it's seam, uh, taped. Taped seams. It's not coming in, like. There's no water getting in. So that's all right. It's quite heavy now, the rain. It's just running off. What's if it uh, comes onto the, onto the mesh inner that's when it's coming through, but so far, fingers crossed, all is good. Listen to the sound.
everybody loves the sound of the rain on a tent, don't they? Yeah, of course you do. Lovely July rain. Well, I'm still in. I'm still in the tent. Can't get out like in Tim McGraw, it's just ah, get soaked. It's not hold on a minute. What's better? Right. Oh ah, nice and bright that night. Um yeah, I went out and it doesn't sound as uh, I mean it's not as bad as it sounds. When you get out it's a lot lighter. It just sounds heavy on the on the um the fly sheet. Still no water coming in though, so that's good. I mean that's been raining there for about three hours. Non-stop. As soon as I got the tent set up really it started raining. And it's it's not stopped. So I am quite impressed. Wait a minute. With the waterproofness -ness and the seals, all oh, the sealing. Ah, it's a bit bright, isn't it? Yeah, it's not coming in though. It's definitely, definitely keeping the rain out. The only water that's in is when I open the door to get out. And that's just in the porch there, just on the grassy bit, not on the inside of here. So I should sleep well tonight. I shall sleep well. I've decreed it. I have decreed that I should sleep well. <laughs> anyway, so we shall get our heads down and probably see you in the morning for a nice cup of tea. I'm not sure whether I have a cup of tea here or just nip down in the van. Six and two threes really. Probably make it here. It's nicer on the hill, isn't it? So we shall wish you good night. We'll come back in the morning, and let you know how this went. So far, the rain test is doing very well. Thumbs up emoji. How many fingers? 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 If you get 10 out of 10, write it in the comments. Alright, we'll sither. <laughs> Morning campers. It is not nice, let's see. Way high. <laughs> Views for miles. It's weird because um, you keep getting the odd glimpse through the clouds. So I think this is just cloud, low cloud, not rain clouds. Although it was raining pretty much all night. Uh, it's got a good soaking, good workout. Inside there's a bit, uh, a little bit of moisture on the inside of the inner. Oh, let's just show you. Where are we? Up here. So it's either condensed air, i.e. condensation, or it's getting through. I think it's getting through myself, like. So, you know, it did hold up and it never stopped raining all night. That's like eight hours of constant rain. There's only a couple of little drops. So I'd say that's all right, that's, that's handy. For the, for the price of the tent, you know. If this was me solo and it did that, I'd be sending it back. Oh, well, I'm gonna get me um, kettle on. This is me faithful kettle. Didn't have that last can. Couldn't be bothered. Oh, late, coming up late, so. Oh, I thought. I hate these things, me. These slugs. Get to France. It's like, woo! Imagine what went through that slug's head there as it just suddenly took off. It travelled the distance equivalent of us, us being thrown like about a hundred feet. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, soft landing. 
Right, I, I'm gonna get me, um, what was I saying? Uh, me kettle on, uh, me kettle. Just woke up, man, and a lion. It's eight o'clock. Right, but yeah, I'm gonna get down back to the van, go for some breakfast. Uh, see if I can get parked at Spoons and get me breakfast done and then, I don't know. Good old day, good old day to do now. Oh, I like it. Nice cup of tea. Put the tea bag in, the water, and then the milk and the sugar. Anybody who does it in a different order, right, you've got to just get away from them people. Anybody who puts the water and the milk in first and then the tea bag, just get rid of them. Report them to the police. The um, clouds sort of. I mean, it's not breaking, but you can see through it. <sighs> Slept well. Uh, yeah. No, I think I think it's uh, leaked. It's not. I. It's not a hundred percent. There's this water here. I don't know where it's come from though. This is all dry. Oh, here. This mesh. That mesh there. There's your weak spot. Oh, so maybe you close that vent if it's raining. So it's me who's the weak spot. This vent. Close that. Way, man. So I can't blame the tent. Not yet. I'll try it again. With the vent shut next time, me. And it's funny, it's the vent at the back as well, and that's that's got water there at the back, so maybe it is them vents. Ah. So I'm not I'm not as good as you think I am. There's people coming, right? Back with the tea. Lots of other people doing it. Right, just as I'm packing up, <laughs> it started. All tidy look, everything's away. Nice and light. But yeah, I'm gonna give it five minutes. Um if it doesn't go off in five minutes, I'm just gonna go on for it like. I uh, see it's not it's not a big hill, I'm only like half a mile if that. Downhill all the way, so but you will still get drenched in that like. Typical in it. As soon as you start, I, I should have been away at seven o'clock. There was no rain since seven o'clock. As soon as I had my tea and then started putting my stuff away, it started. <laughs> it's like, right, he's ready to go. Let's rain. But I might just dive out and go for it. The hell with it. I've got my waterproofs on. Oh, I've got my van down there as well, so I've got to change of clothes over here. Don't know what I'm bothered about. I'm not bothered. Who's bothered? Am I bothered? Is my face bothered? Is this face bothered? Yeah, cracking up now. Been in here too long. It sounds a lot worse in the tent, like. It's hardly raining out here. It's just a light drizzle. Mizzle. Right, so now we're going to take it down. Um, I've got space in my garage now to hang it up, so I'm not worried about drying it off. But it was good. It's my fault I didn't close them vents, like. So that's where the water's come in. Idiot. You know what I mean? But uh, it might have saved on the condensation. I don't know. It's, it's a trade off, isn't it? Right, so here we go. Right, that was uh, easy enough. Dead easy to put away that tent. Just wet, that's all. So it was here. Not a bad spot. That's quite level. It's about the only level bit here. Over here is boggy, see? It's boggy there. This is a big puddle formed. Rain on the lens. Right, so I'm, uh, that's it. We're off. We're off to see. I don't know what we're off to see. We're just off. Right, so we'll bid you farewell. Right, we'll see you later. We're off this way.
turns out we're off this way. Oi, oi, oi. 